We are all connected to the ocean. As a marine biologist, I know this to be true. As a Canadian, I know we all have a responsibility to take care of the ocean. It is vitally important for a healthy planet. I work at Oceana Canada. We are part of the world's largest organization solely dedicated to protecting the ocean. But we can't do it alone. The ocean is vast and it doesn't give up its secrets easily. By working with partners and sharing knowledge, we can better understand and protect the ocean that we are all connected to. I saw this firsthand in March of 2018 while on an expedition to the central coast of British Columbia. We work side by side with First Nations, with Fisheries and Oceans Canada, a department of the Government of Canada, and Ocean Networks Canada, an ocean observing research initiative at the University of Victoria. Also joining us was Alexander Cousteau, filmmaker, Oceana advisor, and granddaughter of Jacques Cousteau. We were there to learn more about what habitats are most vulnerable and in need of protection. Diving to depths of over half a kilometer with a submersible drop camera. No one had explored this area of the coast at depths below 200 meters before. What we saw was breathtaking. Patches of red tree corals, bubblegum corals, large pom-pom sea anemones, vase-shaped sponges. We also saw many commercially important fishes whose populations have been depleted, including some species of rockfish. These coral habitats act as nurseries and spawning grounds for fish populations that depend on them to grow and thrive. These are truly unique ecosystems, undersea worlds where marine life flourishes. Yet research in these areas is limited. By studying these areas, we can better protect them from human threats, such as destructive fishing practices. With this research, we can better understand how to conserve them. We need to conserve them. For so many coastal communities and Canadians across the country, the ocean provides a source of food, a place for recreation, and income through jobs. Most importantly, on this expedition, we collaborated with the Heltzik and the Kitasuhehe First Nations and the Central Coast Indigenous Resource Alliance. First Nations know this sea. First Nations know this land. They have been sustainably harvesting species like rockfish for food, social, and cultural uses for millennia. They have identified gaps in our knowledge. We are working to fill those gaps. So, on this expedition, we are building on a foundation of traditional and scientific knowledge. Our oceans are in trouble everywhere we look. But on this expedition, we have learned so much that we can use to protect one of the special places on this planet. We have expanded our understanding of life in the ocean depths at the central coast of British Columbia. Now we have to use this knowledge to protect it. We are trying to save the oceans and feed the world, for all of us and for generations to come. <laughs>